From Reinhardt College in Waleska, Georgia, this is Renewing American Civilization. In this, the seventh of 10 class presentations, Congressman Newt Gingrich, an adjunct professor at Reinhardt College, will continue his course, which presents the foundational principles necessary to the renewal of American civilization. This week's lesson, The Third Wave and the Civilization, focuses on the third wave information age, American civilization, and the rules of human behavior. say uh, good morning. Let me welcome the students who are taking the course from uh, Mind Extension University and remind them and other folks who might be seeing it on cable or on videotape that you can mail your comments to Renewing American Civilization, Post Office Box 6008, Marietta, Georgia, 30065. Or you can fax your comments to 404-528-9806. Or you can email your comments to America Online, Renew AM at AOL.com. Also, that class transcripts and other class materials are available on our internet web page at http double slash uh, colon double slash www.pff.org. And you either got that already or you don't know what it means, so don't worry about it. Uh, and uh, you can, if you're in the more traditional mode, uh, you can order American Civilization newspaper, video, and audio tapes and course readings by calling. 1-800-2-RENEW. And I would point out to all of you, since we're going to talk about the third wave today, that while you all kind of go, well, that's just an old 800 number, an old 800 number didn't exist 50 years ago. So it's amazing how rapidly we acculturate and acclimate ourselves to technologies. I also want to mention, because it's uh, fascinating for anybody who watches in Alabama, uh, that uh, Michael Ciamara, who is the uh, head of quality uh, for the government of Alabama, is uh, hosting uh, starting, I think, this coming Thursday night at the state capitol, this course for all the senior leadership of the Alabama government. And apparently Governor Fobb James has decided to support it and to be part of it. And uh, it's, uh, we, the, uh, we sent an article from uh, the uh, Birmingham newspaper about the, about the fact that the class will be taught at the capitol in Alabama, which is sort of interesting. Uh, and then they're going to try to apply these ideas to Alabama state government. And of course, we start in terms of applying ideas with the notion that the five pillars of American civilization are first, the historic lessons of American civilization, second, personal strength, third, entrepreneurial free enterprise, fourth, the spirit of invention and discovery, and fifth, quality as defined by Edwards Deming. And that the four areas in this course to which we'll apply these pillars are first, the third wave in American civilization, which is today's topic. Second, creating American jobs in the world market. <coughs> Third, replacing the culture of violence and poverty with a culture of productivity and safety. And fourth, citizenship and community in the 21st century. And so each of the next four weeks, in a sense, this is the payoff period. We spent a week outlining the course in general. We spent five weeks outlining the pillars. And today is the first of the topical uh, uh, sessions, which will be four in number. Today's class is on third, the third wave in American civilization. This is... Alvin and Heidi Toffler's contribution to uh, modern American uh, uh, systems. Let me say, the Tofflers have been very successful authors for a very long period of time. Uh, their most famous early book was Future Shock, uh, which is still in print and available all over the place. And Future Shock, of course, created a title. I mean, people talk about Future Shock, yet yeah, they, they made it up. But, it, but it, as soon as the book came out in 1970, it made sense to people. This is the 25th anniversary of Future Shock. About a decade later, they tried to say, all right, if we're going through this, what does it mean? And they came up with the book, which is the, the title of today's lecture, which is The Third Wave. And their argument, which we'll get into in a minute, is that, the, that Future Shock can be replaced by understanding that you're in the middle of a wave of change. It's sort of like uh, thinking that you are trying to understand what is a giant uh, tsunami, to use the Japanese term for a tidal wave. Well, if you know it's a tidal wave, you still have a big problem, but at least you know what the problem is. And so they're talking about that we're in the third wave of change. They then wrote a book, which I really recommend for people who care about national security. This is called uh, War and Anti-War. And in their effort to bring together the notion that all international relations are a continuum 
where you're always engaged in the tension between war and anti-war, they point out that from 1945 to the present, there have been three weeks in which there was not a war somewhere <coughs> on the planet. Three weeks in 50 years. And since, future sh since the third wave was in many ways the basis, intellectually the basis of the Army's air land battle doctrine had, had a dramatic impact, they have several chapters in here on how the Army came to grips with thinking about the future and, and what the, the intellectual basis of what we did in Desert Storm. Finally, uh, reissued uh, with, a, with a new cover, uh, which we were kidding, Jeff Eisenach, who designed the old cover. This is clearly a much better commercial cover than the one he had. Uh, and all of you can talk to Jeff about that later. Uh, he's a little sensitive. Uh, but this is Alvin and Heidi Toffler's uh, new edition, Creating a New Civilization, the Politics of the Third Wave. Uh, and it is um, really what they did is they edited together the best of the three books I just cited, plus Power <coughs> Shift, which is another book of theirs. Uh, now, the point, I'm, the reason I'm showing, sharing with you is not just to say, let's do a biography of the Tofflers, but they have been, since the late 1960s, trying to work out what's happening in a big way to the human race. Is there an underlying pattern? Is there an underlying explanation? It, it, it's a little bit like, um, if I can use just a couple of very common human analogies. Uh, I, have a, I have a good friend who went out one day, and he's in, in his late 40s. In fact, you know him, Dr. Mel Steely. He went out one day, he's going to hate me for having told the, because it's a true story, and nobody hate my having mentioned his name. He went out one day, and he got all excited. This happens often to guys in their 40s. And, and he said, okay, I can do it, I can do it. And he went out, and he cut wood, and he did everything for two days. And he got up Monday morning, he thought he was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> and he went to the doctor. And his doctor checked him, and he looked at him for a second, and he said, did you do something extraordinary all weekend? And he said, yeah, and he began to list it. And the guy said, Mel, you have middle-aged fat man's disease. <laughs> and still he went, he said, you can't go out without any exercise, without any practice, have all these muscles that have been laying on a couch watching football, work for two days and not expect to hurt. Now, anybody who's a good runner, for example, will tell you. I mean, you run, my daughter runs marathons. You run a marathon, it hurts, period. Now, so if you're halfway through running the marathon and you're hurting, what it tells you is you're running a marathon. The reason I'm telling you this is that the Toffler's, these are patterns. I mean, all of us learn this stuff. If you drink too much the night before, you're probably not going to die the next morning, but there's a feeling which is directly related to drinking too much the night before. And you've got to figure out what are these patterns. I mean, you don't study, you fail the test. Now, I'm driving at this because what the Tofflers did is they took the most human of things, which is to try to understand the patterns which affect you. How can you predict based on patterns? And they backed way up and they said, all right, let's look at the entire planet. Let's look at the whole human race. What is happening to us? And frankly, what they wrote is very parallel to what Kenneth Boulding wrote in The Meaning of the 20th Century and what uh, uh, Peter Drucker wrote in The Age of Discontinuities. The Tofflers believe that there have been three waves of change. <coughs> from hunting gathering to agriculture, from agriculture to industry, and from industry to the information age. Now, they use the term wave because they said literally the wave goes through everything. And that it's not that there's a change up here or a change down here, but that the, there's a wave which goes through everything. 